Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? Home? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go! I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. But... I... I don't get it. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To... Be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> Two days ago, I imagined you as a pimply kid from rescue services with a Boy Scout complex. Pimply? My skin is as smooth as a 12-year-old's. It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? <laughs> It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Irving, are you hitting on me by any chance? Uh... No, what are you... I mean, it's just... I... Relax. I was kidding. <sighs> I can never tell when you're kidding. Yeah, it's one of my fascinating virtues. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon! Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was, in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Uh, hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. Wait there. I definitely heard something. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
I, I was thinking about earlier, when I said I was happy to have met you. Uh-huh. I, I just, I, I, I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I, I feel real close to you, Nikki. Uh, God, I hear myself talk. I sound like an idiot. Irving, I, I don't know what you're trying to say, but right now, I'm dealing with something else. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now, I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please, shh a sec. I'm trying to listen to this noise. All right, I get that I might be overdoing it. Sorry, I'm a klutz, and, and sometimes it's... Irving, please, shut up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um... Later. Nikki? I remembered! What? This sound I keep hearing. Did you figure out where it's coming from? Yes! I mean, no, maybe. But I remember why it sounds familiar. The chandeliers. What chandeliers? The ones in the ballroom. Nicole, I, I don't follow. I'm probably stung from before, but... Stop thinking about before and listen to me. I'm... I'm listening. When I was little, I could sit for hours and watch them set up the parties in the ballroom. Uh-huh. To me, those chandeliers were like a flying merry-go-round. What does all this have to do with the sound you heard? Every time the window behind the bar was opened, the decorations would clink. That's the sound I heard. Those old chandeliers moving in the breeze. But... the chandeliers in the ballroom were taken down two or three years ago. I'm not crazy. But what you're saying is impossible. I'm sure. And no, I don't understand, but whatever made that sound is around here somewhere. You're worrying me. I just need to think and listen. Okay. Uh, keep me posted. Please. Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She... talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. It was the beginning of the end, and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again, and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. <laughs>